After sunset, the Admiral steered his former course to the west. And because the Pinta was a better sailor and went ahead of the Admiral, it found land. Rodrigo de Triana saw this land first, although the Admiral, while he was on the stern castle, saw a light. They should be good and intelligent servants, for I see that they say very quickly everything that is said to them. And I believe they would become Christians very easily, for it seemed to me that they had no religion. Our Lord pleasing, at the time of my departure, I will take six of them from here to your highness in order that they may learn to speak. This island is quite big and very flat with very green trees and much water, and all of it so green that it is a pleasure to look at. And these people are very gentle, and because of their desire to have some of our things and believing that nothing will be given to them without their giving something, they take what they can and then throw themselves into the water to swim. But everything they have, they give for anything given to them for they traded even pieces for pieces of bowls and broken glass cups, and I even saw 16 balls of cotton given for three chiotis. I labored to find out if there was any gold, and saw that some of them wore a little piece in their noses. And by signs, I was able to understand that to the south, there was a king who had large vessels of it and very much gold. They had no intention of going. As soon as it dawned, I ordered the caravels made ready and went north, northeast, along the island to see the villages. And I soon saw two or three as well as people. Some of them brought us water, others things to eat. Others, when they saw that I did not care to go ashore, threw themselves into the sea and came to us. And one old man got into the ship's boat and called, Come see the men who came from the heavens. Whenever your highnesses may command, all of them can be taken to Castile or held captive in the same island, because with 50 men, all of them can be held in subjection and can be made to do whatever one might wish. I saw so many islands that I did not know how to decide which one I would go to first. All are very flat, without mountains, and very fertile, and all populated, and they make war on one another even though these men are very simple and very handsome in body. Nevertheless, my intention was not to pass by any island of which I did not take possession. Although, if it is taken of one, it may be said that it was taken of all. Christopher Columbus did not discover America. He was a rapist, murderer, thief, and colonizer who laid the groundwork for indigenous genocide and the trans-Atlantic slave trade of action.